I'm Michael Ohijuru. I see myself as uh, a culture historian. John Blank is believed to be the first person of African descent in British history who we have both a record, a written record, and we have a visual image. We know he actually existed and we have an idea of what he looked like. John Blank was a trumpeter at the court of Henry VII, Henry VIII, and the, his image appears on the Westminster tournament roll. This is a document that Henry VIII commissioned to celebrate the, a joust or a, the birth of his son to Catherine Mary on New Year's Day that year. This is a working man. This is a time when the only people who had their portraits were, were, the, were the elites and, the, and, and in, the, in the church. So this is wholly exceptional that we have an, an image of a recognizably black person that we can put a name to. What do we know about John Blank is a really intriguing question because he appears in the court records in 1507. The next list of trumpeters, he doesn't appear in 1514. So it's those, those five years, we've got some brief records of him being paid wages, been given cloth for the coronation of Henry VIII, also given cloth for the funeral of, his, of Henry's father, Henry VII. And the most spectacular document is one where he's actually petitions the king for a wage increase. This is a, a working class lad, and he says, and not only asked for his wage to be doubled, he asked for it to be backdated. And such is his confidence, the king accepts it. The king signs it and he's, he has his pay doubled from eight pence a day, eight old pence a day, to 16 pence a day, and it's backdated. In terms of people outside the court, the wider Tudor society, there's, there's records of black Tudors up and down the land, mainly in, in the ports, Plymouth, Exeter, and so on. In London, there's, so there are several mentions of, of black Tudors. There was a, a, the wonderfully titled Reasonable Black Man. He was a, a silk weaver. The John Blank Project is an art and archive project which celebrates John Blank. I work with artists and historians to reimagine them. We had an exhibition at uh, the Walker Art Gallery in, in conjunction with the National Portrait Gallery where some of the work was on display. So I see it as a kind of an ongoing project celebrating John Blank. And one of my biggest takeaways from it is working with my children. I found that really rewarding, going into schools, telling them about John Blank. We always have a different view. And one of the most memorable ones one was a little boy said to me, he must have been strong. I said, why is that? We said, well, how, to ride a horse and play a trumpet at the same time. And I never really thought about that. There are so few images of black people. Portraiture, a coat of arms, were for the elite, for the, for the top people in society. It would be wholly exceptional, and it is, as you see with John Blank, to have that image, that we know what he looked like. There's certainly a lot, lots of records of working class people, lots of records, of course, but in terms of that image, that's what makes it so special.